Okay, welcome back everyone. As we broadcast from my uh, son Nehemia and Rifki's house in Inwood, uh, New York, uh, and Baruch Shechianu V'Kimanu V'Giyanu Lazman Azeh for the start of uh, a new Masechta in the Mishnah Yaimis, Masechta's Gitten, and uh, we want to thank again the Fisher family for agreeing to sponsor Masechta's Gitten, Abe Arbach as well, Yol Krugman uh, sponsoring Masechta's Gitten, and uh, we learn also from Mayor Ben Chayesara, ben Rivka, they should have a Rafu Shalema Besek Shachel Yisrael. The Mishnah, uh, Mishnah Aleph and Beis in the first parak, starts off with the special decree that's made by Gittin. And that is that normally, if a get is given and it has two witnesses, uh, the woman has to authenticate the get. The get by bringing people that recognize the signatures or the witnesses themselves or the signatures archived in a court. If the get is brought back from overseas, it's going to be very hard to authenticate the get because nobody in Israel knows these witnesses who are from overseas. So therefore they made a decree that the agent that brings it has to say before me it was written and before me it was signed and we believe him like two witnesses that the get doesn't have to be authenticated um, so therefore the Mishnah says how may we get a get that's brought from overseas the the shliach has to say before me it was written before me it was signed uh, also, another reason given in the Gemara is is because the uh, in Chutzarts they were not bekiem bilishma. They didn't know that a get has to be written specifically for the woman. So therefore, they have to say b'fanei nechta b'fanei nechta. Reb Gamliel, I'm Reb Gamliel says this is true. Af hamevi min arekem umin acheger. Even if it's brought from the towns of Rechem and Cheger, which is right outside of the eastern border of Eretz Yisrael, but since it's outside of Eretz Yisrael, we, it, we consider that to be a place where Eidem Mitzuyim, Ein Mitzuyim Lekaimah, witnesses won't be available to authenticate because it's outside of Eretz Yisrael. So therefore, they, uh, Shliach has to say, B'fanei Nechta, B'fanei Nechta. Even from the uh, suburb of Lud to Lud. Now, Kfar Ludim was outside of Eretz Yisrael. So why is it a bigger Chiddush than Rechem and Cheger? But the suburb of Kfar Ludim was actually uh, absorbed in the border. That means that the border protruded on both its sides. So Eretz Yisrael to its right and it's to its left was Eretz Yisrael. It, however, absorbed between them was outside of Eretz Yisrael. And since it's outside of Eretz Yisrael, you still need to say B'fani Nechta, B'fani Nechta. The Chachamim, I mean, the Chachamim say, no. You don't have to say that Shliach doesn't have to say before me it was written and before me it was signed. Unless he brings it from far overseas, not from close by, or or if he takes a get from Eretz Yisrael to overseas, because then again you have the reason of Ein Eidim Metsuyim Lekaimai. If you bring it from one country to another country overseas, so again, it's not going to be available when it's brought to another country. Nobody in that country will know the signatures of the witnesses. So they have to say, B'fani nechta, B'fani nechta. B'fani nechta, B'fani nechta. B'fani nechta. Reb Shimon Gamliel, Reb Shimon Gamliel says, if you have even in one country two different uh, jurisdictions, two different um, municipalities. There's a uh, checkpoint between them, and they don't allow one easily over to the other. Even from one 
a jurisdiction to another jurisdiction, since there won't be people in the in the jurisdiction that it's brought to that will recognize the uh, wit- the the signature of the witnesses, because there isn't free travel between one jurisdiction and the other. You have to say b'fani nechta, b'fani nechta. Rabbi Yudaim and Rabbi Yudah says we have to know what's considered outside of Eretz Yisrael. So may Rekem Lemizrach, any place from Rekem and further to the east, and the Rekem Kemizrach. Rekem is like outside of Eretz Yisrael. May Ashkelon Ladarm, any place further than Ashkelon to the south, the Ashkelon Kedarm, and Ashkelon is also outside of Eretz Yisrael. May Akai Litzafen, any place from Akko and to the north, further away, the Akai Kitzafen, and Akko to the north. Rameir I mean, no. Akko is, itself is considered like Eretz Yisrael proper. Akko ke Eretz Yisrael again, and you don't need to say Befane Nechtav or Befane Nechtam. Notice that the Mishnah did not say the West. The reason why the Mishnah didn't say the West is because the border of the West is the Mediterranean. Um... All right, Baruch Hashem, we're on our way doing another Masechta. And um, I want to thank all of you for joining me. Also, I want to remind you that if you get a chance before Shavuos, you should listen to the shear for the Shabbos Shavuos table. That's a fascinating shear. Uh, and if you haven't uh, yet uh, become a uh, subscriber of mine on uh on, on uh, a follower of mine on YouTube, you should do so. Also, uh, uh, tomorrow night, as we said, uh, five minutes to nine will be this year. And have a wonderful Vach.